That's it. I, I bow to Dr. Anderson with folded hands, sincerely thanking him for what he does. I look so tired. I really feel sorry for these military people. Yeah. Um, well, that night, Coyote and I celebrated. We're getting really good at it. Uh, but I'm not finished. Remember, I only came to the United States. Is this like a side trip? The whole trip in the United States? Side trip? Of a bigger spiritual trip? Just so I can get grab a new clean passport and get back to my meditation cave. With Earthy. With my goddess. We love the cave. Mm-hmm. Well, in my monk's robes next day, take the bus back to downtown Detroit mm-hmm. cause more bewildered rubbernecking from the uh, assembly line auto workers. And I stepped down in front of the district attorney's office in downtown Detroit. Mm-hmm. Enter his outer office. Oh, his secretary, yeah. Obviously uncomfortable with my demeanor and appearance. Yeah. No appointment. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, uh, curious. Uh, soon the district attorney invites me into his office. Oh, there's two other guys in suits. They remain anonymous. Uh, one verbally assaults me right, right away. Hey, kid, I hear you've been smoking hashish with the other inmates in the slammer, huh? <sighs> What do these guys do for fun, I wonder? Uh, absolutely not true. Calm reply. Mm-hmm. Uh, seeing they can't intimidate, they kind of, <laughs> they relax, they back off. These anonymous gray-suited creatures. Mm-hmm. Uh, I asked the uh, district attorney, what should I do now? <laughs> Which causes him to break up in the laughter and say, <laughs> nothing, okay, you, you won, you beat the case. You uh, well, I explained to him I still have a problem, that I cannot get a new passport until the passport office in Washington, D.C. Uh, realizes that the charges have been dropped. Uh, I need you to call Francis Knight right now at the uh, in to D.C. and tell him. <laughs> well, every, all these guys is looking at each other like <laughs> they're not used to powerful spiritual audacity. Hmm. Well, the district attorney orders his secretary to get Frances Knight on the phone. She does. He talks to Frances Knight and explains to him, look, uh, as far as the feds are concerned in Detroit, uh, there's no reason uh, this this young man cannot get a new passport as far as we're concerned or do whatever he wants to. He's free. Um... All the charges are dropped, and uh, he's free to get another passport. (laughs) District attorney shows me the door. He opens the door for me. Yeah. I can hear him thinking. Why do I tell the wife about this? (laughs) Well, uh, look... A mere 18 days after taking my examination for the military, uh, I am relaxing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on a jet aircraft streaking towards Europe. Exhilarated. Got a fresh, clean, brand new passport. Exhilarated. <laughs> Ecstatic to be headed uh, for the Ganesha Cape. Free, free person. Now knowing what prison's like, I can empathize with that. Half a million Uyghur children. <laughs> I wish you could go home and hug your parents. 
during the Vietnam War, Muhammad Ali got his life disturbed. Uh, two million other military inductees of my generation were not lucky uh, or spiritually empowered like me. Body count, Vietnam, 300,000 maimed. 54,000 Americans slaughtered to death. And the souls of millions burned up into trash. Mm -hmm. Oh, going to the Ganesh cave with Earthy. Ganesh, the favorite god of children and the remover of obstacles.